Manhattan. It is the voice of Indiana County, WCCS, AM 1160, 101.1 FM, 18 minutes after 7 o'clock. We just spoke with Tony Renda about the passing of Chuck Spadafore and what he meant to Tony as a young man. Here's a guy who knew him for, well, most of his life. Uh, former State Senator Don White joins us this morning. Uh, Senator, good morning. Uh, good morning, Todd. It's a sad day for our town. It really is. Uh, and uh, as I said to Tony Renda a couple of moments ago, uh, it's a legacy that will go on for generations, but it's a loss uh, to be felt right now, isn't it? Uh, I, you know, I've known Chuck. Uh, my mom and dad took me down to Annapolis when he was uh, when he was attending the Naval Academy. And so I've known him basically my, I think I was in seventh grade, so I've known him pretty much all my life. In, uh, in the late 70s, and when he came back to Indiana and he started and raised his family here, uh, it was a great family. He was uh, an Indiana guy through and through, he, uh, a true community leader. You know, he was the type of guy uh, that if he believed in your cause, he was... Uh, he was all in and uh, would be a wonderful advocate for whatever the cause might be. And he, uh, he had a way of communicating that was uh, pretty special. He had, a, uh, he had that great smile mm-hmm. and a uh, terrific sense of humor. He was a great supporter of local athletics and athletes. He uh, was very strong member of his church, uh, very strong in his faith, super father, grandfather, husband to Linda. You know, something, not a, I'm going to say it's unusual, but I never heard a bad word ever spoken by Chuck about anybody, nor have I ever heard uh, anybody say any word about him. Yeah, and he was, uh, a hero to me as a as a young boy, and he remained so all my life. And we're going to miss that great man. That Spadafor family that we speak of so often, and and the fact that it is such a strong family, and and how they lift each other up, uh, I think never more evident than in uh, one of what we might call something uh, that is a little less serious and that is uh, their athletics Uh, they're a tremendous family of athletes I remember doing all those years of Indiana high football and the program every year had that same picture of the spatifors uh, lined up uh, and and ready to play some ball it was a great photograph uh, but it really talked about how (laughs) the generations of spatifor athletes (laughs) and Cecil uh, Cecil was a great supporter like just like Chuck and WH and uh, Skip, they uh, they took it from the top. And Cecil was uh, somebody who was very involved in athletics and supported his, his kids' involvement. And uh, uh, I, I'm sure you already talked about his boxing career at uh, Annapolis. Mm-hmm. He. Uh, he was uh, he was a wonderful golfer and, and the most fun to play with. I would just always look forward to playing with Chuck because he, he had some of the greatest sense of humor and one-liners you ever heard. And uh, he was a uh, you know, he continued the legacy of his dad when his dad passed, and you know his dad lived into his nineties and uh, was one of the leaders of. Uh, the original Chamber of Commerce in this area. I mean, the Spadafore family legacy is is pretty special. Yeah. He squeezed a lot out of life, didn't he? <laughs> he, uh, he, uh, he? He always went 100% in everything he did. And uh, I can't imagine the grief that his family's going through. I mean, they were... Uh, <clears throat> they were good athletes and... Uh, uh, strong Indiana people, and and now they're spread out around. And of course, CJ took over the mantle of running Colonial Motor Mart, and uh, their impact in this town is uh, 
And I think Cecil moved here from southwest to Pennsylvania back in the late 40s, early 50s, I believe. And uh, it's connected, uh, the name Spatterfor is connected with class, and Chuck had a lot to do with uh, the entire legacy that we can all be so proud of. Absolutely. Senator, it's uh, good to hear your voice again, and uh, we appreciate your spending some time with us this morning. Yeah, well, this is a, this is a sad day, and uh, this is better for family strong. They'll get through this, but uh, what a loss for us as uh, members of this proud community. Absolutely. And I appreciate you allowing me to express my sorrow. Absolutely. Have a wonderful day today, and thank you again. Yes, sir. Bye-bye. Bye now. There is Don White, former Senator 